Well, guys, <clears throat> now that we've pretty much done all we can, let's proceed to the final area in the game. One. The beginning of the final area. <clears throat> Now there's gonna be a boss r boss rush waiting for us and we don't really get uh, healed afterwards so I'm gonna have to be very careful with my spell, spell charges. I do have a plan but let's see how well it actually works out. Oh I should have targeted better. This is an actually dangerous encounter. take any more damage than absolutely necessary. <coughs> That's fine. Happy cannot be petrified, but he goes on easy enough. Are you kidding me? Nicely done. We're up to level 48 now. Why are they going after the black mage? Oh shit! Hmm, the behemoth can drop elixirs and it's uh, really valuable so I'm gonna take this encounter but this is basically a boss encounter. So let's just go all out. we need to heal uh, black mage meteor incoming at any point Might as well. Alright. Managed to avoid a meteor. Not a lot of experience, but got an elixir. That's crazy valuable. So what I'm gonna do is teleport out of here and recover my spell charges. Behemoth encounter is uncommon. I mean rare in fact. So I will uh, try and take them whenever I get the opportunity. Every single elixir will help me in the final fight. Alright, let's go back in.
damn! All right, he's got two ancient swords. I need to switch him with the blood sword. This guy is really easy. But he can be paralyzed even. Free experience there. Nice! We can one round a zombie dragon now. So far, this guy's break car has never worked. But we don't want to stick around and find out. Oh god. Oh crap, I forgot to heal up the white mage. Thankfully we do have auto saves, so this version does not punish me as much as the original one. But we still wanna avoid that. Don't wanna get complacent at any point. <coughs> Once again, very happy with the amount of damage that the Black Mage is doing, just with his physical attacks. Alright, we're almost out of here. <coughs> And enter the Crystal Tower. Well, I guess it's the entry for both Eureka and Circus Tower. Blah 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 blah. Eureka key. Let's enter Eureka. <coughs> Should have awesome music. What? Yeah. Why did they have to put in chanting? Uh, wonder how much damage. Can we one shot then? Yeah, let me try and spread out the damage just in case. Okay, it looks like we can't one-shot them. So I'll put uh, both the warrior and the black mage on uh, one target, henceforth. <coughs> Heavenly Wrath. the best items we can get over here
Fire off for 43 damage. Alright, not very threatening. Physical attacks more so. Well done. 13,000 experience, alright. So this place seems to be uh, better for level grinding than uh, Bahamut Cave. Oh, another elixir. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh, it looks like these guys are a bit more beefy. They can paralyze though. Wonder why they didn't get paralyzed the first time around. Another bomb arm. Okay, I'm dreading this fight. But before we do that... <clears throat> hey, come on! That's not fair! I'm gonna take so much damage from poison now. Okay, never mind. Man, I should finish this off uh, quickly. And we still don't have Poisona. It's fine. I should really be saving up my level 1 spell charges. Where's Antidote? For cures. So far, so good. Let's just pick up this item, which is... Oh, come on! What?! Okay, I'm not sticking around. Okay, so these guys can uh, hit really hard. Didn't want to waste that one extra turn uh, standing around for the back attack. This is a shuriken, which is completely useless for me. Okay, that chest... It's gonna be a monster in a box protected by a ninja, I believe. At least poison is not doing any damage. Oops. Right, heal up to full. We need to go all out once again. I shudder to think. That ninjas are a random encounter later later on in the final dungeons. And I don't think we can even petrify him. Alright, let's take it on. I have four biochargers. This guy does have uh, normal random encounter music. I guess that's an indication, but he has a ton of physical defense and uh, magic defense. Yeah, look at how little damage he's taking. <clears throat> so I don't really seem to have an easy way of dealing with this guy. I do want to take this encounter for the ribbon.
The one thing we are uh, at risk of survival, but it is a drain on resources. Something dust mode or something might have just made its way into into my nasal passage. Anyway, we've got the almighty ribbon. The ribbon is it better than our crystal stuff? Not in terms of sheer defense, but I think uh, I'll stick with more defense for my front liner. I'll give the rear ribbon to one of my main mages. Alright, more defense and more magic defense for him. Alright, let's carry on. Heavenly Wrath, Arctic Wind, and a Phoenix Down. Alright, fair enough. Phoenix Downs were in limited supply in the previous versions of the game. So they would have been very valuable to find in treasure chests. <laughs> Forgot to switch to the blood sword. No wonder he wasn't training any HP. So far, encounters very easy to deal with. Not the Relixor. Very nice. This is going to take two turns anyway, so I might as well auto battle this. No use uh, with specific card thing. Another shuriken. Phoenix down. Okay, these guys are the especially beefy ones. Apparently not. I guess a couple levels goes a long way. Their lightning attack is supposed to hurt a lot worse than that, but uh, I guess we can manage it. Okay. The first of the ultimate weapon bosses. <clears throat> Man, I wish they wouldn't do that. Hurts the warrior a lot. Alright, let's heal up. Moondring Blade, show your worth. Most of these weapons, or probably all of them, are going to be completely useless for me. Alright, so as you can see, this guy is just uh, a Hind wannabe. Or maybe Hind was just wannabe. Who's this? Amon, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to follow the same pattern as Hind. Let's probe for weaknesses. Salamand Sword. And you guys just physically attack. 
I'm not gonna waste Libra charges. Thundaga. So maybe he's weak to Thunder? Five hundred damage. Uh, maybe that's an indication. Salamand sword. Uh, let's try the serpent sword. Let's see how much damage we can do. Salamand sword is five hundred damage, so I think it's a good possibility that he's weak against fire and on this round. He will change. Uh, he will barrier shift after every two rounds or so. So let, let's give it a try. Where is my Fyraga? Shit. Not a Fyraga special. No matter, no matter. I do I want to heal right now? He only did about 700 damage. To the warrior that too. Wait, he's using all three Aga spells? So maybe we can't really figure out... 400 damage! Okay, maybe he does not have a weakness right now. In which case, let's just go all out with the Ancient Sword. And once he barrier shifts, then we'll probe for weaknesses. And there we go. Let's see how much damage the Black Mage does. 256. So I think he's got a fire weakness now. Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, look at that damage. Alright, it's gonna barrier shift next on. So let's switch to Freezing Blade. I uh, don't have two Freezing Blades. And the Thunder Rods, Light Rods. So pre I'm pretty sure that he cannot, he won't uh, shift back to his same weakness after a barrier shift. Let's heal up our peeps. Three forty-five. Okay, no ice weakness. Three hundred thirty damage with the thunder rods. Might have a thunder weakness, eh? Let's give it a try. Worry, got the light rods equipped. Thunder ga. Five hundred fifty-four only. Maybe he does not have a thunder weakness. Oh, he does! He definitely does! Thunder it is. I guess the Serpent Swords are just that weak. Fyraga for 200 damage. Manageable. So this guy's damage output is pretty pathetic. It's the fact that uh, we need to probe for weaknesses. That's the gimmick in this fight. Alright, he's going to barrier shift. And... Uh, most probably he's gonna get a stone cast. Salaman's sword. Let's probe for a fire weakness with the warrior. And an ice weakness with the black mage. Do we need to heal? Not really. Damn it. He's gonna banish shift now. So I've lost essentially lost one turn. 256! I think he's got an ice weakness. Have a Blizzaga, and we need to heal the warrior. Yes! Oh, come on! That's bad turn order. I should have healed him up uh, earlier. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, are we gonna get our turn? I, I'm not I'm not gonna rely on that. So, we'll go back to probing for weakness. And meanwhile, we'll just bring back the warrior. 
Yeah, good thing. Otherwise, so my Blizzard would have just healed him. Healed him for who knows how much. 42 damage with fire, so he's not weak to fire. He was weak to ice last time, so that only leaves thunder. That was the time with Kyora. Nice! So that was a mod. Obtained the completely useless for me Moonrin Blade. But it was more about fighting the boss. All right, let's heal up. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do next is, now that I'm uh, relatively low on resources and the other bosses are not going to have obvious weaknesses like Amon, I'm gonna rush to the end of Eureka where there's a healing pool and we'll slowly make our way back from that. <clears throat> Ow! That crit sound really makes it seem like it hurts. Okay. I think this one is a free chest. Oh, who's this? Kill him, kill him. Can we petrify him? Man, he took a lot of damage from that bow and arrow. I wonder why. Okay, never mind. Pretty easy to deal with. It's just a Phoenix Town. Another Phoenix Town? Are we there yet? Another elixir? Oh, that is so awesome! Shuriken. Two Shuriken and two Elixirs. The game wants you to think that they are similar value. Okay, this guy gives us level 8 magic. Uh, this guy gives us the last three. Oh, we can actually buy the Hamlet Leviathan. And of course, we can. And this guy, can we buy Elixir still? Nope, we can buy Shuriken. Damn. So that's what makes the Elixirs extra, extra valuable. So where's the healing pool? There we go. So as, as I said, I'm going to use that healing pool as a, a, rest, a restoration point and uh, we'll take on these bosses next time. Later guys!